we'll start with Nanite Mesh. So Nanite Mesh can be displaced from Unreal Engine 5.3, but you have to enable it. And to enable it and set it up, uh, you will find a tutorial down below there. But as you can see, if we have a mesh with Nanite, it can be extruded in contrast and intensity. Or not, right? Now, let's say you don't have Nanite Mesh. You cannot displace a non-nanite mesh uh, as of uh, Unreal Engine 5.3. But there is a workaround and it's called POM. It is Parallax Occlusion Mapping. What you have to do, you have to set up Parallax Occlusion Mapping bit, this part, in your material for it to work. And there'll be tutorial as well about that. So, as you can see, it also displaces this. But the difference between them is that uh, with parallax occlusion mapping, as on the corners, as you can see, it's more like an illusion that this distorts this texture uh, inwards. When with 5.3 displacement that was enabled, uh, it's more like a displacement of the texture itself. Now the question is, why would you want to use non-nanite parallax occlusion mapping when you have nanite? Parallax occlusion mapping is required when you uh, work with runtime virtual texture. Now, if you want a runtime virtual texture, let me show you. I'll bring this cube here. Allows you to blend materials of different assets together. Now, if you want to know more about runtime virtual texture and how to set it up, there'll be also a, a link in the description there. And the problem is that nanite, as of Unreal Engine 5.3, doesn't write this texture uh, when set up. So instead, you'll just have this uh, black texture. It will not blend. I hope it will be fixed in the future and uh, we'll have this option available. So that's why you might need and want to use non-nanite with displacement. So this is options when we don't vertex paint. This is when we just use one material and we displace it, either with new option available in 5.3 or parallax occlusion mapping. Now let's go to a vertex paint. So let's begin with nanite again. Vertex paint nanite. Now when you vertex paint on nanite, just quickly go to plugin and go to modeling, and you have to enable those two and then restart, but there'll be tutorial about that as well. So when you go to modeling mode and you choose attribute, and you will find paint vertex colors here, and then you'll uh, be able to paint. But of course you have to set up the material for it to work, which is done by setting up these parts in master material. It's all about blending the materials and using color channels for vertex painting. You'll find some tutorials in the description down there. When everything is set up, then you go to modeling, attributes, and choose paint of vertex colors, you will be able to paint this. And if we enable the displacement, it will also work. But for displacement to appear, you need to click accept after you painted everything. And then if you like, you can just play with this displacement accordingly. So that's with vertex paint nanite displacement. If you, for some reason, want to vertex paint on non nanite, you also can displace it with parallax occlusion mapping, as we saw before, and it does work with runtime virtual texture. You can also paint on this. And this is a more traditional way to paint, which is through mesh painting paint and the material is set up the same way as it was for nanite and uh, here you go we also can paint here and the cool part of this is that with runtime virtual texture when you paint this it will also go on top of the asset that is located on this and once you displace this it also works well. So now let's talk about landscapes. Let's go big. Now to vertex paint on landscape, first you need to apply this material onto this landscape. And there will be a tutorial again which will describe how to set it up. So you go to landscape, paint. Let's choose this again, sand. And if you enable displacement, it's even better. And again, if landscape is nanite, you only can displace the new 5.3 option. 
Now, if for some reason you use non-nanite landscape, you do the same thing through the landscape mode, the same material that you set up and you paint. So that's all of the options. I will leave some links for the tutorials for every method. Now, I have made a mind map for every situation, so for vertex painting and the displacement, which will help you quickly to find which method to use in a particular situation in respect to displacement and runtime virtual texture.